Yeah. What up, Santiago? Got my guy Fernando Vargas in the building. Uh, probably, he's had some of the most historic fights in boxing history. Trinidad Vargas, De La Hoya, Mayorga, twice. No, I'm sorry. Mayorga, Mosley, twice. Man. But let's go ahead and talk about what you got coming up in the future ventures. Let's but, talk about... But before we get to that, I want to talk about that, but before we get to that, Colonia Boxing Gym. Right. You're home away from home growing up. Basically the place that made you right. a boxer. Right. It closed down. You were a part... Was, they were trying to close it down. Did they? They did not. They did not. They did not. Okay. The door's open. They, they left, man, that's great news, because I did not know that part. Yes. All right, let's talk about, the, let's, let's go back then. Colonia Boxing Gym. This is where you were going as a kid, walking three miles from the south side of Oxnard yep. to the east side of Oxnard, yep. getting infested east side of Oxnard. Yep. 12 years old, they were going to close this gym. When did you find out, and what was your initial, initial reaction? I found out by people sending me DMs. Uh -huh. And and at first I was like hesitant. I'm like, well, they did it to me. They did it to me when I was in the World Olympics. They closed down La Corona Box Gym. I had a train in Garcia's backyard for to go to the Olympics. So, yeah. They, they closed Corona like Box Gym? Like, for real? I don't know. They closed it down for... Renovation? Renovation. And it was like years, years, years after they, they huh. closed it. But... I had, a, I had a train in, before I was going to the Boys and Girls Club, yeah. because we are at the Boys and Girls Club for a while. Um, on 7th Street? On 7th Street. Yeah. Uh, so, um, we, you know, I was getting ready to go to the Olympics. I was going to the trials, to the box house, and I didn't have a gym to train at. So, Garcia, my aunt, and the other Garcia, made a boxing, made a, a little mini gym. In his backyard, he uh -huh. put a bag up, he put his feet back up, you know, um, uh, and we did pads there, and when I got ready for the for to go to the Olympics there. Wow! So, you know, at first I was like hesitant, I'm like, man, they did it to me too, so why should I go? Okay. You know, what changed your mind? I'll tell you what changed my mind. The kids, I remember, I remember, you know. The how it was for me to get to La Corona Bison Gym uh -huh. and to feel at home and feel like I love this. I know I could do this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be great in this sport. I know I could do this. I know that I can, I can make it, make it big in this sport. I felt that we were taking away, you know, the dreams of many kids. Yes. That have a dream of becoming world champions, and they now they know that it's possible. My combo Robert Garcia from boxing. But Oxnard on the map, but yep. the first world champion, I quickly followed. Yeah. So I I went with all my straps, my fight of the year championship, my my world titles, you know, um, and my even my Olympic my my, my Olympic type, you know. Yeah. My, my Olympic belt. That so I you so yeah you you're there in the city hall meeting and you have all these belts. Yes. Like if it wasn't for this gym that yes. you guys are trying to close down. Yes. I would this would not be possible. Yes. After, wow. Yeah, so I think them seeing the bells really spoke volumes. Yes. You know, really, you know, put it in their head that, man, this, this, this is like real stuff. You know, these guys yeah. are real, we're world champions, where world champions were made. Right. You know what I mean? Robert Garcia, myself. You know what I mean? So, um, Mikey. Mikey was born, Mikey? Mikey was born in, I mean, in He was born in Mexico. He was born in, 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 in Albuquerque. No, in Oxnard. Oh, Oxnard, okay. But, 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 but you know, he lives in uh, he lives in Moreno Valley now, but yeah. you know, but still, you know, you're telling these kids that they cannot become world champions, and that's a lie. So people have dreams. Like when people told me, when people tell me, what are you gonna do when you grow up? Be world champion? Come on, man! <laughs> Nobody wants to be a world champion out of Oxnard. And then when you got the city telling all these kids and all these little kids in the neighborhood. You can never be champion. Exactly. And we're closing this door. And that's what I said. Yeah. I said, so what you're telling the kids here, if you guys close the doors, is that they cannot be world champions and they can't be Olympians. And that's a lie. Because I was able to become an Olympian. My compa Roberto Garcia became world champion. Yeah. And I began a quickly followed. So you're, you're telling these kids that they cannot become world champions out of boxing. And that's a lie. So, you know, I'm asking to allocate funds for 
for for the for La Corona Boxing Gym. Uh -huh. Keep the doors open. They finally said they're gonna keep the doors open. Did they did they say okay we'll keep them open that night? Was no, it like they, a vote? They, 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 How they did they go down? That they they said that the vote um, was that they was gonna keep it open that night. Okay, so did they vote? Did they do the did the panel of, they, of, of people that vote in front of you guys at the at the town hall meeting? That I know is that I don't know I don't remember them doing that, but okay. what I know is that I got word quickly after that they were going to keep it open. Because I, I, the reason I'm asking this because like I would have loved to see who on that panel voted against right? keeping it open. You right, know what I mean? Right. All in favor, and you got all these hands, all in, you know, yeah. all opposed. Yeah. I would have loved to see. Again, because this is my hometown so we as jump well. Them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, who's that? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I know where you live. Uh, uh, Strawberry Fields. Uh, I don't know where you stay at. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're, we're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But on a lighter subject, man, uh, your charity event. Yes. I want to talk about that. Yes. We're going to go to take a break, come back, because you got Battle of the Badges coming up Battle in October. Yeah. We've got to talk about how people can sign up, exactly what it is. This is the second year of it. Yep. And uh, I want to talk about the success that it had last year and how people can be a part of it this year. Yep. Absolutely. So I'm talking about my guy Fernando Vargas in the building. Keep it right where you got it. It's Big 3 Radio. And we're back. Got my guy Fernando Vargas in the building. Uh, Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation. Yes. Let's talk about that real quick, man. Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation um, is my nonprofit 501c3 that I started up because of the fact that there's a lot of kids in North Las Vegas and, um, and in Vegas in general um, that need a haven. You know, just like they I needed found, their own colonia jail. They need their own colonia jail. Yeah. So I found La Colonia. Luckily, I was able to find La Colonia Boxing Gym. By God, let me find, you know, boxing by me flipping through the channels. As You know, one day, suspended from school, and I saw amateur boxing kids my age. You know, 10 and, 10 and younger. I was 12, you know, for 8 years old, fighting with head gears and winning trophies. I said I could do this. I walked there the next day. So there's a lot of kids in North Las Vegas and in Las Vegas in general because you got people that come from all over. Yeah. You know, they bring their kids to sign up. We have one one hour class. Uh, Coach Noah directs a one hour class. Um, I'm there to, to 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 look at, you know, the kids and make sure they're doing good. And, make and sure the coaches are doing their yeah, job exactly, as well. Right. And um, we also have tutors. We also have tutors there that help them with their homework. So you cannot be doing good in boxing and doing bad in school because you got all the help in the world right. to make up, you know, for 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 you to succeed in life. So, you know, that's what we do here at Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation, 501c3. We have a uh, show October 19th. It's called Battle of the Badges. Yeah, this is the second annual. The second annual Battle of the Badges where... Cops fighting cops. Who doesn't want to see cops with each other? <laughs> it's not. They're not necessarily cops fighting firemen. It's cops also fighting other cops. Uh, cops, uh, ah. cops, and and uh, military men and women, servicemen and women fighting each other. Um, yeah, because I'm sure there's a lot of people you know, in the military, yes. especially because we got Nellis Air Force Base here in Vegas. Yes. That you know they're already kind of combat training. They're already kind of like fighting. So this is a definitely great outlet for them as well. Absolutely. So the raise to raise finances for, for the kids at, at my foundation. Um, you know, um, it's an amazing event. We had, yeah. we, had a, we had an amazing event last last year. Did you go to last year's? You, I was out of town. Okay, but I was out of town. I, I wanted to go. Out of town. No, no, I'm going this year. Yeah, yeah, last October year I was out of town. My my niece for the first time. Just really quick. My niece for the first time. She was in marching band. And it was her homecoming, so I had to go. Had to go I had to go do that, yeah. but I did want to go. I did. I did want to go. I'm going this year, though. Okay, there it is. There, there it is. Yeah, so, so October 19th. It's gonna be a great event. Um, you know, we 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 make sure that these that we put on a show for the for the for the kids. You know, what I mean, we have you know tables there for for that are bought by different companies that you know they want to buy and, and donate. You know, it's all 100 proceeds go to the foundation. And 100 percent proceeds go to help help the kids if, at, the, yeah, at the foundation. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about this more off the air. But anything I can help with, uh, besides you know publicizing it, right. whatever you need from me, 
Let me know, man. Awesome, man. Um, you might need a DJ. Whatever. Cool. <laughs> I know a DJ. Well, you are the DJ. No, man, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but who was there last year? Because you had some celebrities and some. We had a uh, we had a uh, with a senior. Yeah. We had um, what else we have? Uh, we had uh, Mikey Garcia. Yeah. We had a. Uh, uh, you had a couple of celebrities there yeah, as well, well though. Uh, a few celebrities there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then, then you had like silent auctions. Yeah, silent were... auctions of, yeah. uh, you know, different um, memorabilia that I have and, and um, you know, different stuff that they donated. That, yeah, that celebrities to, and to other suggest. fighters donated as well. Yes. You know, and so it was a great event. Um, you know, I want to thank everybody who came and and also the people that are going to be coming this year because it'll be, it's going to be a great event. So let's talk about it. So if you want to sign up for the... October 19th, we're going to be having, for the for our show, October 19th, Yeah. servicemen and women. You guys are more than welcome. We're going to be having an orientation and, um, uh, on Saturday, this Saturday. What is it, the 20... Hold on, look, yeah, I should know this off the uh, top, right? 27th. The 27th, uh -huh. Saturday, the 27th, we're going to be having... Um, orientation um, for our show that we're going to be having October 19th. We're going to have... Where's the orientation at? Uh, Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation. No, no, um, no, no. But where's the orientation going to be located? Uh, 3240 Civic Center Drive. Okay. Sweet B. Las Vegas. The gym? Uh, yeah, my gym. Oh, shit. So, then, so all, all these, all the cops will be there, you know, signing up and, and want to take pictures. And I'm going to train all you guys. So I'm gonna train you guys to get ready, and that's when, something that should be up for auction. They're training, yeah, they're training with Fernando Vargas. You know, hey, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be an amazing thing if uh, it gets packed. I wanted to be back this Saturday, so I, you know, invite all law enforcement, Leos, um, servicemen and women to come down to Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation. Um, if you're in law enforcement or first responders and want to participate. Please come down to the, the Fernando Vargas Fire Foundation uh, this this Saturday at 10 a.m. This Saturday at 10 a.m. This Saturday at 10 a.m. One more time. This Saturday at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> because what I want to what I want to doing I'm gonna put in all this information uh, on my social media as well. Okay. So just for everybody that doesn't that doesn't get it right away. Because we we need more law enforcement agencies and first responders. Uh, you know this is a great cause and a great way to help. Us uh, serve the kids who most need it. Right. Um, let's. Yeah. I'm definitely. Wh whatever you need from me. Whatever you need from me. Just let me know. Done. You're done. Done Sunday. and done. You're the man, Sunday. Thank you. Done. Done and done, man. And, uh, and you know the event will be October 19th at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. It's going to be the second annual, not the first annual. The second annual. You know uh, we had Frank. Uh, uh, um, Randy Couture there, yeah. Also, we had we had a lot of people, man. And forget, uh, and please, you know, bear with me. Yeah, please. no, please it's, it's on my, his Facebook, man. It's, 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 my, yeah. yeah, it's on my yeah. Facebook. Yeah, yeah no, no, but on the but the on the Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation Facebook. Yes, that has his own page as well. Yes. So check that out. Google Fernando Vargas. The Fighting Foundation will pop up as soon as you type in his name. We can go on for days, man. We yeah. we, we we can go on for days. I definitely want to have you back. Uh, I definitely want to help promote when when your when your sons are ready to be are, are ready. I want them to come on because I want because you know what I mean because yeah, they're, they're gonna need to start dealing yeah, with press. Uh, any how do they find you? How do they get a hold of you, man, on social media? Um, everything Fernando Vargas at underscore Fernando Vargas. Yeah, search is. Fernando Vargas and my name will come up. I'll be the first one to come up. Pretty much. I hope. Pretty much. And don't so, forget about uh, the Battle of the Badges. Battle of the Badges, October 19th, second annual. Second annual. Wait, 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 wait. At the Plaza. At the Plaza Hotel Casino. The sign ups for it are this Saturday, uh, July 27th. Yeah, at the, uh, yeah. the Boxing Gym. Uh, Give the address again 3240 Civic Center Drive, Suite B, Los Vargas, Nevada, 89030. I invite everybody. 3240 Civic Center Drive, Suite B. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89030. Come on down and sign up. Um, really quick. Service men and women. Uh -huh. um, you know. So, so, oh, go ahead. Co ex, you know, cops, ex-cops, it doesn't matter. For for those that aren't listening, because this is, this is worldwide. This is internet. So right. for those that aren't in town, 
Is there like a, an email or a phone number they can call if they want uh, to sign up? You know, you can go. Damn. The yeah. Facebook page. Uh, go go to the Facebook page and and get the information there. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation. Do, yeah. That'll be the Battle of the Badges information there, and um, I I can get I can get you an email later on. Yeah. Um, for the Battle of the Badges. Okay, we'll figure that out. Yeah. We'll figure that out. Yeah. And if you and if you have any other inquiries and you still need help, you can also DM me Santiago yeah. personally, and I'll yeah. definitely make sure Fernando gets the message and I forward your information to him as well. Want to thank you, man. Anytime, son. That's what I'm talking about. 805 represent, baby. Make it here.